Hi besties, welcome to my channel. My name is Promoted Sandra. So if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, thank you very much for stopping by and please do not make this your last by clicking the subscribe button. And also if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. I do really appreciate your likes, your views, your comments. I do really appreciate it, okay? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful bug gown for my sister's baby, okay? So she just clocked plus one, please, before you continue watching, just go to the comment section and join me to wish this beautiful baby happy birthday. Please pay attention to what I'm about to say. Watch this video from the start to the end so that you don't miss any parts. Because in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I drafted this beautiful gown and how I also joined it together. So there are a lot of things you need to pay attention to. And remember, this is not just gowns for babies, okay? Most especially the damp parts. You can make this as white wedding gown, traditional gown, pre-wedding gown, a uh, birthday shoot gown or birthday gown, whatever. So just know that you need to pay attention to the damp part, which is the most important thing. The all part is not that really stressful. And another thing you need to know is that it's kind of a little bit easy if you can pay attention to it. And if you want to make this dress for any client, make sure you be that client because it is not easy. So whenever you're make, making this dress for clients, make sure you be that client because else you'll be the one that will stress yourself and lose and for the this dress i made use of almost 10 yards and for the queen line i make use of more than 15 yards so when you buy queen online just buy the full pack and buy extra add to it so you get it because after using the 50 yards some of the queen lines i was having at home i still joined it together to finish up with this gown so that's why i say you should build your clients please after watching this video don't forget to smash the subscribe button this really helps me a lot turn on post notification if you're interested in this kind of video if you have any questions contribution let me know in the comment section and also please like and comment this really help youtube to push my video to more people to see okay so if you want more people like you who are also the fashion designer or looking for ways on how to make this beautiful dress kindly comment leave your likes they're really important so let us dive into the video for us to make this beautiful gorgeous dress we are going to be making use of we are going to be making use of shiny face on gaza lining quillon line bonnet and the fabric for the upper part of the dress and so that is all we are going to be needing for this video the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead to fold my, my shiny face together i don't know what you guys call it but we call it shiny face over here it could be called mirror face in other part and please follow up with what i'm doing i folded this into two then i went ahead to fold it into two again just like as you see me doing follow up with a the step then once i was done doing that before i take my measurement for the damp part i'm going to minus my half length for this dress i will go ahead to impute the waist measurement so i'm going to divide the waist measurements by four then whatever i get i will impute it as just like as you see me doing i will just impute it on the waist so just make sure you follow up with the step so once i was done marking it i would take my tape to measure it to make sure it corresponds with the waist measurement i'm working with so if not i'll go ahead to extend it again now i'm going to be taking the full length measurement before i did that as i earlier said i went ahead to minus the half length from the full length okay so i'm going to be imputing my full length i will take my chalk to you know mark it out then i will take my ruler to join all the points together Then once I was done doing that, I added my sewing allowance before I ended up cutting it. Please add your sewing allowance. This full length of this uh, fabric is 20. So I'm going to divide 20 by 4, which is going to give me 5. So I'm going to divide this. Just watch out what I'm doing. If you see, I'm marking out 5, 5, 10, 15. So the full length 20. So I'll go ahead to mark at five rand. Just follow up with what I'm doing, please. If you don't understand, just follow up with what I'm doing. Then I will take my French cuff to join all the points together, just like this. 
I'll go ahead and get to measure five and I will join all the points together. I'll go ahead again and continue with the same thing. I'll measure five and join all the points together. Then I'll go ahead to you know cut divide this into two first of all then i will cut at each of these pieces so just watch at so as you can see right now i have four pieces each so we are going to making four step for this um dress but i ended up making it five i went to i want I to cut another piece and add to it so for the ongaza i make use of almost 10 yards okay almost 10 yards so i'll go ahead to determine the length of this um steps the steps you can see so i'm going to be using i wanted to make use of five the five is, five is going to be the length because that is what i divided the um shiny fish to be right so i'm going to be making it it so that once i'm done sewing it the remaining one will cover the sewing like i don't know how to explain this it's going to cover the steps the remaining yard is going to cover the sewing line because you know we are going to be joining all the pieces together again so we don't want that line to be showing so i believe you guys understand what i'm saying so i'm just going to cut out everything is going to be very lengthy i think the length is going to be more than 300 or over 400 by length i don't know it's going to be very lengthy so once i was done doing that i'll go ahead to draft the upper part of the dress so i'm just going to mark out my guide for the upper part and the side so i'll go ahead to impute my shoulder measurement so you make sure you take your shoulder measurement and impute it then once i was done doing that i'll measure the armhole because this is going to be a round neck um dress i'll measure the armhole then i'll take my ruler and i draw the points together then once i was done doing that i will impute my the half length and also the strain allowance for the dress then i will join the points together and rule out all the possible points then once i was done doing that i will come down by half an inch from the shoulder because it's going to be slopey then impute the neck measurement i'm going to be using two versus two and a half because i don't want it to be tight at the neck area then i'll use my french cuff to draw it then i will give it a slant at the shoulder i will draw it from the shoulder to the point i mark at the armhole to join it together i will divide the armhole into two and mark half an inch inward they use my ruler to draw it just say what you do you draw your pattern okay for adults that is the same thing you're going to be doing for kids then i'm going to be using this pattern for both back and front i'll go ahead to draw the back armhole so once i'm done cutting the back i will come back and cut the front so this is going to be for the back i will just draw the back armhole so if you don't want to get confused make sure you draw your own separately so for me i'm going to be using one stone okay to build I will impute that is the baby um, bust measurement, waist measurement. Then I will go ahead to use my ruler to you know, join it together. Then after that, I will add two inch as the sewing allowance. Then I will go ahead to extend all the points together. Then once I was done doing that, I will use my scissors to you know cut out the pieces. Please watch out what I'm doing. Then I will go ahead to the neck um part and come that by one inch from the neck and join the points together remember i said this is going to be for the back and the front so i'm drafting at the back at the front okay so i will go ahead and join my i will go ahead and place the back the pattern paper on the fabric i will cut it out remember this is the back so the reason why you are seeing space at the back of this is because that part is going to be serving as my zipper allowance so i will just cut out everything follow up with what i'm doing is very easy to you know, do so i'll draw i will just cut out my armhole this is going to be serving as the back remember i drafted the back and added to it so i removed the armhole for the back and the neck for the back then i went ahead to cut at the front so 
so i went ahead to cut uh, to cut that other fabric the lining so as you can see me doing this is the lining for the fabric because the fabric is transparent so i'm using lace for this or using a shiny or frequent uh, sequence lace stuff i don't know just as you can see on the screen so i'm just going to cut lining for them i'll first of all covered like so cut out lining for each of this lace fabric and sew it together i'll take it to my sewing machine and sew it So for the ungaza, I went ahead to join all the pieces together, as you can see on the screen. So I've already sewed it, but I will explain every part. Just listen to me. So for the queen online, I went ahead to sew it to the ungaza. As you can see, the queen online is facing the right side of the ungaza. The reason is because we are going to be flipping it to the back side okay? so i went ahead just like as you can see so can you see what i'm doing so i'll go ahead and place this on my sewing machine and match it back so when you are sewing the quino line to your gaza make sure it's facing the right side when you are sewing it then you turn it to the you flip it to the wrong side and match it just like as you see me doing right away when you are matching your quinoa line to your gaza please make sure you are using your hands to know to shaping it direct it so that you don't have a lot of poking at the uh, edge okay so this is how it's going to look like once i was done i will go ahead to iron it before i sew it before i attach it to the um fabric i'll go ahead to iron it okay so right now as you can see this is the first step of the on Gaza of the shiny face we cut at this is the waistline so make sure you you cannot buy it if you don't want to you know miss any part or you don't want to mistake make sure you know buy it from one two three four you know we cut out four pieces for this i will go ahead to match the on Gaza to the waist of this i don't know how i'm going to be explaining this i will match it to the waist of this uh, dress please pay attention to this you, as you can see the wrong side is facing the right side of the of the shiny face the wrong side of this queen the wrong side is facing the right side so because this is how it's going to look like i don't know if you guys are understanding it so once we are done attaching it to the upper part of the dress is this is how it's going to fall like this is how it's going to look like so i'm going to be sewing this on the, at the upper part follow up with the step so i'm just going to go ahead to do my gather on the fabric so i'm just i'm just going to gather it you know then sew it along if you want to pleat yours you can pleat it so guys i'm done sewing it. this is the waist and this is how it looked like this is what i was trying to explain i hope you guys understand this with this now okay so this is how it's going to look like this is the second part that is the second step of what we actually cut at so i'm going to attach i'm still going to sew the other one at the upper part of this shiny face but i'm going to be sewing it matching it on the but if you want to sew yours at the down no problem you can sew it so for me i'm just going to be matching my at the upper part because i'm still going to be joining everything together just, just like the same way you cut it and that's how you're still going to join it together so if you want to join yours at the upper part the wrong side of the on gaza is going to be facing the right side of the shiny face you just plant it on it as i earlier said so if you are going to be sewing it at the damp part then you make sure the right side of the on gaza is facing the right side of the shiny face so the right side will be facing each other you plant it on it then once you are done joining it this is how it's going to look like to fold down so not to get yourself confused you can follow up with my steps the reason why i'm doing this is because the fourth one which is going to be the last one i'm going to be attaching this um on gaza at the upper part and also at the down part so i'm going to be showing you guys once i was done i will go ahead to match it together so if you don't understand follow up with what i'm doing just follow the you know seeing is believing just follow up with what i'm doing at the upper part i'm just splitting on it i will just go ahead to do everything i will sew for the first second and third and the fourth one so guys now i'm done sewing on the fourth one which is the last pieces i went ahead to sew at the down part and also at the upper part of this so the reason why i sew and at the down part is just to you know lock in the down we don't want them down to be you know transparent to make it a little bit fuller and lock the down part so that is it so the next thing i'm going to be doing right now is to join the is to join every pieces together so you are going to take 
the upper part of the dress which is the first one and you are going to be attaching it to the second step please then once you are done attaching it to your second step you will pin it you will pin it down so if you're a beginner it is advisable you pin it okay so just like the same way you cut it at i don't know if you're understanding it the same way you cut it at that's the same way you are going to be sewing it together back again hope you understand so you will join all the pieces together one after the other i don't know just the same way you cut it so you use your scissors to cut it that's the same way you're going to be picking it and joining it back after you are done printing your gazan on each so i'll go ahead to join the first one and the second step together hope you understand i'll join the first second third i'm going to be doing it for every pieces first second third and fourth i'm just going ahead to join everything together back so once i was done doing that the next thing i'm going to be doing is to join the front and the, the upper part together so i'm just going to shape in the front that is the upper part of the dress so i'll go ahead and shape it mark out all the possible measurements and take it to my sewing machine and match it down this is how it look like i will just go ahead to join the waist of this um skirt which is the damp part and join it to the waist of the upper parts I will just join it together so i'm going to be pinning the upper part of the dress to the down part of the dress so once i'm done pinning it together i will take it to my sewing machine to sew so it is advisable you pin it together before taking it to your sewing machine so once i was done sewing it this is how it looked like this is so beautiful as you can see on the screen so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to attach my zip to the dress this is going to be the last part of this dress So now that i was done attaching the zip this is how the dress came out this is how it looked like this is so beautiful elegant if you are making this for a client please don't forget to build the client because it is not easy to make this dress it is really time consuming if you end up enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe follow like share comment let me know what you think at the comment section so if you are watching this on facebook kindly click the link at the description section to subscribe to my youtube channel or if you are watching this on youtube kindly click the link at the description section to follow up with my facebook page where i post more of my sewing tutorials vlog you know lifestyle beauty all of those things so if you want to get more or enjoy more of my videos kindly subscribe to my facebook and also to my a youtube channel and also please follow me up on my instagram handle and whenever you see me post this just like and leave your comments i really appreciate it thank you very much guys for watching see you on my next video bye